Let's go over Babylonian subtraction or subtraction using cuneiform. So Babylonian subtraction. This will be our first example. Let's start out with a I'll start with a small one. So we have this number right here, and we want to subtract this number. All right, first thing we do is look at the ones place. So whenever we look at the ones place, we realize we have three over here, and we're trying to subtract two from here. So what we need to do is borrow. So we can take out this, and we can change it in for nine of these. Notice so we can't have more than uh, we can't have more than nine of these normally, but we're just borrowing for now, or not trading for nine, trading in for ten. So now we have a total of nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these ones, and we need to subtract three. Well, that leaves nine, so. And our final number will have nine of these ones in that place. And let's look at the next column. Here we're left with four of the tens places and two of the tens places. Four minus two is equals two. So we just have two of those. And this is our final answer.